Well, I got to tell a little story anyway, because the story of Mrs. Gleeksman is a story. There's no doubt about that. From 1990 to about 2000, I lived on the corner of Buncombe Street and Academy, a place called the Whitmire Apartments. It was actually a huge house that had been built back before the turn of the century by the Whitmire's good old Greenville Railroad money, by the way. But anyway, it was actually a series of apartments, and um, I had some interesting uh, people that lived in the house with me. A buddy of mine, his father, um, I won't mention names, but he does have his own Wikipedia bio, scientist, mathematician, wrote an article, wrote an article, a math uh, column for Scientific America for many years. So he's kind of a big deal in uh, academe, you might say. Well, academe isn't any different from, I guess, any other field of celebrity, so to speak. They have stalkers, too. And so my buddy Tom's father had a stalker. And Tom's father's solution was to introduce this girl to his son. And she was from Baltimore. And I remember he would, they would talk on the phone. Actually, she talked on the phone. It was funny because Tom would come over. He'd be on the phone. He'd just be holding it. He'd hold it out to me. And I could hear. Here's the long and short on this girl. Unfortunately, she had lost her parents in a car accident not too, not too long before that. But well taken care of, the big uh, trust fund and all that. And she was absolutely psychotic. She thought that her parents... They did not die in a car accident. They had actually been killed by this woman who she always referred to as Mrs. Gleeksman. So, with that in mind, I just thought I would write a song expressing what would happen if me and Mrs. Gleeksman ever came face to face. And you're about to hear it now. <laughs> it's probably one of the weirdest songs I've ever written. Face to face. 
face What tragedy You and me face to face What tragedy Cause I can see right through you And I know what you're thinking Before you do Don't cry conspiracy Thinking it will help you out Oh Mr. Speaks But surely now I'm gonna take it you